means taking control of your life means taking control of your health. We have for far too long given the power within ourselves away to Big Pharma and other organizations and doctors as well as the medical industry and we are not in the business of healing anymore. Today, Freedom Central is in Amsterdam chatting to Eric Pearl at a massive conference here at the Rye. Busy day, Eric. Thanks for giving us your time and um, just wanted to get into a little bit about how you came to be on this journey as a healer. How did you find yourself with these abilities? Well, the background story is, is that I was a chiropractor and um, I still am by license a chiropractic doctor. I know that in um, the UK and other areas they haven't caught up with the rest of the world yet. They're not all doctors, but uh, the education is equivalent to a medical doctor degree. And that's what I was practicing. And somewhere, some things started to happen that were a bit unusual. Um, I was awake in the middle of the night by a bright light piercing through my eyes. It, it, I opened my eyes to see what it was and it wasn't anything seemingly spiritual or metaphysical, it was more just the lamp next to my bed turned itself on. I had that lamp for a good 10 years and hadn't selected any other propitious occasion to self-ignite, but there it was. And at the same time I felt people in my house, which is a very uncomfortable feeling to wake up and feel people in your house. Let's just say I got up rather bravely with a knife, a can of pepper spray, and my Doberman pincher and went hunting. And after a good 20 minutes or so of looking, I, I finally realized that I'd not, I, I would never find anyone there. It still felt as if they were there, but I finally decided I wouldn't find anyone, and if I didn't get some sleep, I'd be a wreck for my patients the next day, so I went back to bed. On that Monday, I went into my office, and seven of my patients, independent of one another, told me that they felt people in the room with us, I guess pretty much like I had felt people in my home. Some said standing, some said walking, some said running, and two of them actually looked me straight in the eye and said, it felt as if someone was flying around the ceiling. Now, I had been in practice for 12 years at that point. No one had ever said anything like this before, so you would think that that would have gotten my attention. Yeah. But other patients were saying, I could feel your hands before you touch me. And I, of course, didn't believe them. I said, sure, you can. Close your eyes. So they'd close their eyes, and I'd hold my hands in certain directions. And they'd tell me, right shoulder, left ankle. So it became a game, because it was my office, and I could have whatever games I wanted, I guess. And as I played with this, my palm blistered a couple of times, and actually bled ones, not like a stigmata, but you know, more as if you take a pin or a needle and accidentally stick your palm, that little bit of blood that comes out. And the next thing I know, people start having healings, real healings. They're getting up out of wheelchairs, and vision and hearing is returning, they're showing documented tumors suddenly disappearing. Their um, parents are calling me saying that their children with cerebral palsy or epilepsy are running and playing and speaking normally and not having seizures any longer what's going on and of course not everyone was having these healings but a lot of people enough of them so that we knew that something substantial was happening and so my patients were asking me to explain this and I said you know what did you do they would say and I said I didn't do anything and don't tell anybody which went over about as big as just saying no to drugs so soon people started coming in from everywhere going I'll have what she had and the next thing I know people are saying teach this I said, teach it, how, how, how the heck do you teach something like this? I've been I'm standing there, really waving my hands in the air, looking foolish. Stand there, wave your hands in the air, look foolish, tell me what happens, you know, let me know what happens with you, this is what's happening with me. But more and more of my patients would call me up after they had gotten home and say that they walked into their house and their lamp or television or stereo started to turn itself on and off and on and off and they, they felt sensations in their hands and they would hold their hands by someone in the family and suddenly the grandfather was able to speak again after the stroke or the uncle regained the use of an arm or a leg and we found that once you interact with this what science calls the reconnective healing spectrum or what, what science explains this is this new level of healing we seem to be able to access it. It's not just healing. As Dr. Konstantin Karakov explained today, it's a spectrum of 
what we could look at as healing in evolutionary frequencies. It's human evolution that is so huge, so vast, so endless that it's the first time, I guess you only need one time, that we're able to fully access anything and everything that any and all forms combined, any and all techniques combined of energy healing can bring us without requiring any of the technique. It, it's as if during this expanding period of time, you know how we sort of kicked into this high gear of time expansion that a lot of people equated with the harmonic convergence starting around 1987 and continuing through 2012 when we have this big transformation everyone's waiting for, you know, and so and the doomsdayers are all saying it'll be the end of the world, and it won't be. It might be the end of the world as we know it. Um, I'm not even sure we're really going to notice something distinct, you know, that very next day. I don't think we're going to wake up December 22nd, 2012, look under the covers and of the bed and scream because we're suddenly invisible. I don't think we'll notice anything except maybe the hangover we have from having coming home late from the 2012 party the night before, right? Um, I think what will be more likely the case is that six, 12, 30 years later, whatever, we're going to look back and go, look at that huge, huge transition of consciousness that humanity went through during that period of time. That's when we're really going to see it. We're going to recognize it more in retrospect by comparison in our evolution, but it is our human evolution. And what the reconnection seems to be doing is it seems to be here as a form of expedited learning. It's giving us, or the universe is giving us, the potential of receiving far greater rewards, but we also have to meet some really great challenges. Great does not mean difficult. It means great. So for instance, one of the gifts or the rewards of accessing reconnective healing is that this allows us to completely transcend any and all of our energy healing techniques, even the new ones, to access something far more comprehensive that brings about healings that science is studying because they tend to be virtually instantaneous and almost always last a lifetime. 